We're at Mobile World Congress Los Angeles and I'm at the Amdocs booth talking with Ron Porter and we're talking about Revenue One. Um, so first of all, let's let's start from the beginning. What is Revenue One and, and how does it sort of fit into what Amdocs does? So Revenue One is a revolutionary uh, new set of products um, within Amdocs, essentially to enable service providers to monetize uh, a whole new world of new offerings, the new offerings we expect to come with the new 5G era, the IoT era, the whole digital age, and the whole new subscription economy. Essentially, to open a whole new world of possibilities for the operators and their customers. Yeah, that's interesting you say the subscription economy. I like that, that, that term because it really is how we consume everything from media and video services to, um, to things in our home. It's, 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 uh, it, it, it's very temporal and, mo and fast moving, and I guess carriers have to kind of keep up with that. So yeah, and, th and that's just one example, because the, adding the subscription angle for sure is, is one angle as, as part of the new, I would say, uh, you know, uh, uh, multifaceted offerings that operators will start to put out there. So for sure, um, some of them will have uh, an angle of subscriptions, but some of them may have another angles of uh, various one-time payments that people want to make for other um, you know, add-ons or stuff like that that come within these offerings and then people may want to choose to pay for them in different ways and, and see all that in, in real time exposed to them in their, you know, um, as they do the payments, as they do the transactions. And how does this differ from, uh, from previous solutions or, or what a carrier might have in their back office already? So, um, Revenue One is, first of all, it's a fully cloud-native solution fully microservices based to enable a much more modular approach to this, um, I would say, advancement. Um, it enables creating these new offerings in a much more business-centric, dynamic way to be able to create these uh, emerging new offerings um, within minutes, launch them out to the market, and really be able to, to try them, fail fast, and, and react very fast to the changes where, uh, and emerging opportunities we're going to see in the markets. Um, another aspect is the actual architecture um, within the charging system that is now supported by a distributed edge architecture. So essentially you're going to be able to push some of the charging functions to the edge, right? And also reduce your total cost of ownership in the process and also support emerging opportunities, for example, in the IoT space. What's the significance of pushing the charging function to the edge and how does that relate to IoT? If you think of the IoT scenario, where you're going to have maybe tens of thousands of devices at a very small area, and these devices are going to be generating very small amount of traffic. So it's very different from the environment today and how we charge today for connected devices. And as such, you want to, you're going to want to have the charging function near these end, to these end devices, also to have a quicker response time, and also to reduce the um, backhauling, transporting all this signaling back to the farm. So essentially, it's a whole new world uh, a whole new approach to monetizing the services. Oh, you're, you're absolutely right. It's, 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 it's more decentralized, uh, and then the cloud native aspect helps helps with that flexibility. And I can see how carriers would sort of find this uh, to be uh, pretty invigorating in terms of you know what their more centralized systems that they may be using now. Exactly. And reducing the total cost of ownership on the way is, of course, a, a significant benefit that everyone's looking into. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so when does Revenue One go, go, go to market and when, when is it available? So Revenue One is actually already available. Again, we, we have uh, various um, elements of it already deployed and we see different operators approaching in different approach paths. And I think that's one of the, uh, again, revolutionary um, things in this solution is the fact that you can you don't have to go with the big heavy transformation that operators have come to fear. You can have a use case based and um, tailored modular approach um, according to the, the the monetization path you're going to follow. Oh okay so when they when they spot an opportunity they can deploy to match that opportunity and then they're not uh, they're not wasting money and they're also uh, possibly not not missing other markets. Yeah essentially I think what we're going to see as we move into this a 5G era, right? Different area, different countries, different operators will have different approaches. Nobody knows what's going to be the next killer use case, the next yeah. app. Um, what we're bringing, I think the most innovative things we're bringing with Revenue One is the dynamic approach, the, the, the flexibility to adapt and to really launch new offerings as they come to market and charge in a very flexible, 
very user-centric manner um, that is much more focused and, and um, adequate for the you know, new digital, digital um, customer. It, be it consumer, by the way, or, or enterprises, right? They're all going to be want to have the, the flexibility and uh, um, the offerings to adapt to their requirements. All right, fantastic. Ron, thanks so much for talking with us today. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot.